Hey guys, it's Zalkrin here. I'm going to be playing this game a lot, so I figured I would show a tutorial on how to make custom super flat worlds. Now, if you look here, you'll see that there's three different things here and three sets. Oh, there we go. Sorry about that. It you see all this. Well, this Believe it or not, this thing here actually determines what's used here. I'll show you that in just a second. Let me cut to it. I, know. I think you guys recognize these. These are item IDs. If you've ever used the give command and then the numbers that correspond with it, you'll know that these are what you use for that. And it's actually the exact same thing with the super flat worlds. So if I were to type 10 in there, in this one spot, which I'll show you in just a second. Okay, so now we're back here. So if we were to change this to what I want, 10, which is lava. I love lava. Now, you can do this for other things too. Resets, thank you, game. Like, I have no idea what these numbers mean, but I know this one would be the one you just saw. So if I change this to, whoops, 230, I believe. That was the wrong number. Yeah, I guess I don't know that one. Is it this? <laughs> there we go. This one makes it lapis. This one makes it air, if you put in whatever I just put in. And then this stuff here, we'll just keep this... No, I want to make an entire lava world just for fun. <laughs> Why not? So we change this to 10. And this number I know for a fact is the same one. And then, boom. Now, if you don't believe that this works, Watch. If you believe this is edited, just watch. And look at that. We spawn in lava and I can't move because I am lagging like shit. Um, yeah, that's not good. Uh, game, thank you. I'd like to go up, please. You got the picture. So that's how you make super flat worlds. I hope this helped in some way if you've been wondering how to do this. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.